you know, the biggest difference between Holochain and kind of the centralized or even the consensus based like blockchain type systems that we're used that m most devs are used to writing code for is that Holochain has kind of a different native structure to truth. In other words, that we're structured for the truth that being a large distributed system means that there's many simultaneous changes happening throughout it all the time. So no node can pretend to have the full truth at any moment because it's simultaneously changing right now in other places. So um, the way that this shows up is there's, it kind of can manifest in different ways, but the two kind of big differences are you can't count on kind of central database queries. There's no central database queries that you can rely on. You kind of have to use strategies of creating a graph for discovering the right data as it emerges within the system. And um, also you need to kind of put deadlines on the data collection if you need to have a particular state. So, so I mean, it's, it's true that there is this big mind, sh mind shift shift in thinking about how to do the underlying aspects of Holochain, but 90% of writing a Holochain application is the same as any web application in that it's user interface. And so that you're doing in devs are doing in the in the in the um, development environments that they're familiar with, Vue, React, whatever it might be, and it's just straight up JavaScript. And so that user interface side is like anything. And and then there's this other really interesting aspect of what happens with Holochain that's really different is deployment. So that's actually a reasonably hard problem in most centralized places because you have to have continuous integration and you do this deployment and you're deploying to the server and all kinds of stuff. <laughs>